What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix.com developer and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know on how to create your very own Wix drop down menu. That's right, in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to create a Wix mega menu uh, which allows you to create a menu in an absolutely gorgeous way for your project um, and if you are looking for help definitely consider reaching out to me. I am available for hire via the Wix.com marketplace but in today's video I'm going to teach you step by step on how to create your menu for the very first time. So in this case, I'm going to actually delete my menu and I'm going to pretend that we're going to do this completely from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what we want to do is go ahead and select our menu. If by chance you don't have a menu, I'm going to go ahead and actually delete my menu. I'm going to click on the little plus button and I'm going to add a menu for the very first time. You don't have to do this if you already have a menu within Wix Studio, but in this case, I'm going to click on menu and search and I'm just going to add a menu back into my menu box right here at the top. To get started with Wix drop down menus or Wix mega menus or Wix anchor menus, whatever type of menu you want to create really, in this video we're going to create a mega menu. We're going to go ahead and select our menu and we're going to go ahead and click on manage menu for the very first time. So we're going to click manage menu and we're going to go ahead, I'm actually going to delete this menu and I'm going to go ahead and delete this menu here. And if I just hit publish real quick because sometimes it does get really glitchy here. Um, you're going to realize that at the bottom of this little menu option that appeared here, there's a little add button right here. We're going to go ahead and click on add and click on mega menu. From here, I'm going to go ahead and name this menu 3 and I'm going to add one more menu as a mega menu and I'm going to call this menu 4. Now, if your menu ends up acting like how it is right here as a double liner, just simply grab it and just stretch it out so that it fits within this little box. From here, in order to work with the Wix Mega Menu, every single time you add a Mega Menu, you have the header and then you have the container. You have the header and then you have the container again. We need to work within these containers to start drawing what's going to be inside these containers, uh, again, being our Mega Menu. So in this case, I'm going to simply go ahead and select menu number three. On the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and select menu container and sub menu container. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that it's not transparent and it's completely solid color and I'm going to stretch it down to about here so I have a ton of room inside this container. So what have I done here? Well, first I've gone ahead and actually clicked on my menu, clicked on manage menu and I've gone ahead and clicked on edit on the container thus it brought down the container underneath my menu title. From here I need to go ahead and fill this space with a ton of either images, uh, with you know, text, with other content, with buttons, with styling, whatever it might be that makes my menu so special. So in order to add elements within this container box, we need to go ahead and use the plus icon at the top left hand corner one more time. So let's go ahead and do that together. Click on add element and let's go ahead and select quick add. From here, why don't we go ahead and grab an image and why don't we place this image right above here. I'm going to go ahead and click on change image and I'm going to select one of the images that I already have from my menu and voila, I have an image here, it looks pretty great. I'm going to go ahead and maybe make the image a little bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and maybe add some text, so I'm going to bring some text in here. I'm going to double click this text. On the right hand side within Wix Studio is where you control the sizing, the styling of every single element you're working with. So example for text, I'm going to go instead of 41 size, I'm going to make it 18 size and press enter. Voila, my font is much smaller. So I'm going to move it here and I'm going to call this a unique title. From here, I'm going to go ahead and press the add button one more time. I'm going to select a paragraph and I'm going to have a little paragraph right underneath my title. And I'm going to go ahead and double click it again. And in this case, I'm going to make it 14. So there's a couple interesting things happening here. My mega menu is looking really pretty. So if I simply clicked on it, clicked on the unique, and clicked on the description here. I simply copied and paste. So if I grab all the elements as one, I can just actually make a copy of what I see here. So once the copy is made, I can go ahead and quickly grab this copy and just bring it right yeah. beside my next element. So I'd like to go ahead and go here, click on change image, and I'm gonna go ahead and change a different image and we'll just select maybe this image right here. You're realizing that my mega menu is starting to look really, really beautiful. I'm gonna press done. I'm going to go ahead and go preview and under menu number three, you're starting to see that it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not totally done, but as you can see in menu number 
uh, well, the original menu we had actually right here, that if you put a little work into it, again, this is just text, this is just a decorative line, this is text, this is text, 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 and basically it's just text. I can go ahead and link any text to a specific page, to a specific button, to a specific action. So, for example, if I go ahead and click the following, if I go back and click on my menu, click on my container number three, I can go ahead and click on an element, I can go ahead and add something called a button, and I can throw a button right about here. From here, I can go ahead and rename this button to Shop Products, for example. And then from there, I can go ahead and link this to a specific page, to a specific product, uh, basically anywhere else other than my homepage. If I need more space to create more of my menu, I simply just drag this down. I can go ahead and make more spacing, but as long as you kind of put in some good time in regards to styling, I always recommend everybody to reach out to a Wix designer, uh, such as myself, who can definitely come in and help you anytime. But point being is that we are working within a container. So when we click on Mega Menus, we click Manage Menu, we click on Add, we click on Manage Menu, we'll call this Name of Menu Item, and then within the container, each container will be uniquely different um, to the actual um, hover over. So when users hover over Manage uh, Mega Menu 2 and they hover over Mega Menu 4, uh, they can actually be different sizes and different content can be in different container boxes. So I hope that um, this video has helped you out a little bit uh, in regards to how to create a Wix mega menu drop down for the very first time. My name is Alan. Definitely consider reaching out to me if you are looking for one on one dedicated developer to help you out. Uh, but for, without further delay, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. This was how to create a Wix mega menu. And in regards to this video, very simple. Again, once you go into the menu item itself, simply click here select the type of content you want to add in the container. In this case, you can simply add video and that will give you uh, this little effect right here on the video box, okay? So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Consider reaching out anytime. Hope you guys had a great